Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So today I'm doing a what I got for Christmas 2020. I know it's probably 10 days like late, but I honestly did not feel comfortable making this video just because um, like we're waiting for such unprecedented times and I want to make anyone feel uncomfortable by sharing what I got. Secondly, I actually don't really open my gifts on Christmas Day because um, my mom's in the medical field, so she does work Christmas Day until 10 p.m. When she gets home, it's so late, like once we have dinner, just catch up on the day. I think it's probably around like 1, like 1 a.m. And then we're just too tired to open gifts. And then when the next day hits, Boxing Day, or if you're not Canadian, like just the next day. Um, yeah, before I can even wake up, my mom's already gone to work. And then when she gets home, she's too tired. And like, I am an only child and I only live with my mom. So we kind of like to like open gifts together. As a kid, I'd be so anxious to open presents. And then I'd only open like one and then my mom would go off to work and then come home, all that kind of stuff. But pretty much every day, like we're just so exhausted. And then I went back to work on the 27th and I do work 7 a.m. to 5.30. So once I get home every day, I'm too tired to like even think about opening presents. So we usually open our presents like around like New Year's, like, yeah, like on the 1st, but I was going to attempt to open presents on the 31st or the, yeah, but then I got, we got a call that my granite in Rhode Island had um, passed away. So I opened presents that day and then I tried to open presents on the 1st, but I was just like too tired. So I only opened one and then I just went back to work again, like I said, so I was just so busy. And then I opened everything about, let's say January 5th or 6th. Yeah, because today is what? I don't even know, the 8th or 9th. Um, but that's pretty much my story. And also, um, one of the girls in my sorority, Erica, was like, I'm expecting a Christmas haul from you, so have that ready. Thanks. So basically, her and my other friend Mackenzie were like, tell me how they wanted to see this. And then a lot of, a few other people were so kind and like messaging me, like, oh, I'm, are you gonna make a Christmas video? Like, you should, since you like hauls and all that. So I said, you know, I might as well just do it. Give the people, like the three people in my life, what they want. Um, so yeah, anyways, by me posting this video, I'm not trying to show off, brag, or make anyone feel uncomfortable. I know like times are hard and different for everyone. So I'm truly blessed and grateful for everything that I got. So thank you so much to my mom and my godparents for like hooking me up. Um, and yeah. Oh, and also Santa, because pretty much Santa does everything. <laughs> So the first item that I got for Christmas, I'm actually, wait, I'm actually wearing it right now. It's this little like cozy pajama, pajama set. Pajama, pajama, which one do you say? I don't know. Anyway, it's this cute little PJ set. It's like warm, fuzzy. It's so soft. It feels like you're laying in a cloud. I absolutely love it. Every year I always get um, pajamas, which are my favorite things to get. Pajamas and socks, oh, bring me so much happiness. So I got this, it's all white. I'll probably insert a picture somewhere on the screen so you can like get an idea of what it looks like and then the next thing that I got was um these slippers I love them like <laughs> something else um I love them they're so cute and cozy it's a little fluff over here and yeah my mom gets we get mad oh also my mom and I get matching pajamas and slippers every year it's like our thing I think there's a hair in my eyes all as well um and then the next item that i also got for christmas was this pajama set as well right here it's like pink it's also super soft and i really like pajama sets like i said well that was so hard i literally just attacked the paper but yeah this is feeling this is already feeling so uncomfortable and so awkward uh i don't know okay moving along i guess we're just gonna stay in clothes for now next thing that i got for christmas i actually bought myself buy myself christmas presents all the time i'm a proud proud member of the treat yourself community so yeah um i got myself this sweater from essentials currently my favorite brand oh my god i'm actually ashamed to tell you guys how so basically the way the collection works is that it drops on paxton um like whatever they tell you like the drop is coming right so it drops like 8 a.m. Um, Cali time. Cali, oh my God. 8 Eastern Cali time. And if you're in Canada, it's 11 a.m. So I would make sure I was logged into the site, like on the site at 11 a.m. And everything sells out within 10 to 15 minutes. It's literally a race. So like when I try to get the sweatpants, the matching bottoms for these, they sold out. It was, I, I'm, 
I can't articulate how mad it makes me because I was literally on the site from like jump, like 10.30, I was on that site. I was waiting, it opened up, and then all of a sudden I had the item in my cart. I'm checking out, like my cart info is already in, and it's telling me, oh, someone has taken the last sweatpants, like they were sold out. So I was only able to get this white sweater right here. I'm gonna just insert a picture. I haven't, cause I think there's still makeup in my hands, although I've like washed my hands so many times and I just don't wanna get makeup on it. But it's like a nice, actually whatever. It's such a nice, um, like white hoodie. It just says what it says, uh, essentials. Pretty basic, but I absolutely love it. I know it's like, ugh. And it's, I got this one in a medium. And then at the back, it just says, on the hood, it also says essentials. And then on the arm of the shirt, it says um, Fear of God. So yeah, Fear of God is probably my favorite brand of 2020. I'm obsessed with it. I just like everything they have so much. Wow, I just talked about taking care of that and I just threw it across my bed as if it was nothing. Um, the next item that I got for Christmas was another item that I bought for myself. I got this box, but this one. This is another item that I got for myself. This one is also from Fear of God from their essentials collection. I actually sourced this one from um, Essence. It's this Canadian company that sells luxury items. It's almost, it's pretty much like a Halt Renfrew, but for Montreal. I, I swear to God, I talk so funny. But, if, oh, smart, pull this out. But for Montreal, 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 oh my God, Montreal, cool. From Montreal and it's another um like i said this another essentials uh shirt this one right here is in a khaki color is it khaki? what do they describe it as a sage okay so it's a sage color it's absolutely stunning i like love it so much i just got this color because i feel like i don't have a lot of like like i like neutrals like black white nudes grays but i thought like getting it in the green would be so different and so nice so that was the next item that i got i also got matching bottoms okay so the bottoms were actually a joke so um yeah the bottoms so on the website it, they look like actual sweatpants like that cotton material and then when i got them they're that kind of windbreaker material so i was so annoyed because i feel like it wasn't described properly on the site or like shown properly like it just looked like like chunky thick sweatpants like if you know what their sweatpants look like you understand what i mean but it's that like like that windbreaker material that's what i mean and then it says like the logo here as well and then over here on like the pelvic area but I still like it. I also feel like because it's almost like a windbreaker material, the color from this and the shirt don't really match. Well, actually, no, they do. Mm, yeah, not like more or less. I don't know. Like, yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh my Jesus Christ. I just talked about not getting it dirty. Now there's like lipstick all over it. I hope it comes off. I feel like lipstick doesn't always come off of clothing. That's annoying. Great way to start a video. The next items that I got were from my mom. Well, were from Santa. So my mom ended up finding um, the Essentials pants. She told me she went on Essence because she knew I always talk about that site. And she got it for me in brown. I actually like this color so much. It's like a chocolate brown. Yeah. And these ones are the windbreaker material too, which actually, I kind of like these ones in the windbreaker material, not gonna lie. Um, although she said she thought it was sweatpants too when she saw it, like she didn't realize it was gonna be a windbreaker material. She got me these in a medium. Um, I tried them on, they are kind of small, like they're like, not small, but they're extremely fitted. And I thought because it was men's that they probably would have been um, like bigger but I'm thick, so yeah, they're actually kind of just fitted. I would've gone for like a large, and then the logo just fits there, and then stuff like that. Like, it's so hard to kind of like show clothing. Um, I'll try to find a picture of someone 
wearing them or like of a model in them so you can get an idea of what they look like and then the next item that um santa got me were these um high-waisted briefs i'm not gonna show them like i don't know it's weird it's just underwear or like briefs i don't know yeah but um they're these dolce dolce and gabbana high-waist briefs i saw these on um like i don't know if it was a runway show or what i saw but i saw them on there and i told them to my mom and then just when she was on um the website getting me well when santa was on the website getting me um those brown pants she also whatever my mom also picked up these as well and i absolutely love them they're so nice and then the next thing that i asked for for christmas so basically i don't ask for anything for christmas because um a few years ago when i was in university in my last year my mom got really sick and she almost passed away she's kind of like in and out of like a diabetic um coma so i don't ask for anything because i appreciate like being with family being with her like just appreciate life and everything so much so i don't like i literally don't ask for anything during that time my mom um like was in hospital for about um i think six months she was hospitalized she lost her ability to walk talk like just do like basic everyday things so yeah i just don't ask for anything i just appreciate her presence and like everything so much more like just being around her but um this year the only thing that i so since, since i normally don't ask for anything this year the only thing that i technically asked for were books she had me write a list of a few books that i wanted and then she also got me the ones that she could find so the first book that i got was hustle harder hustle smarter by um 50 cent i really wanted to read this book so badly i've seen it like all over and he's such an innovator like an entrepreneur so i really want to like read this and see like the process of him creating his businesses and all that so this is gonna be a good read the next book that i got was um the mental toughness handbook it just helps like strengthening your mental health and practicing like good mental health and all that so i'm really excited about this one because i know I can actually implement a lot of these um things that are in here in my daily life it just so this book is actually just a step-by-step -step guide to facing life's challenges managing negative emotions and overcoming adversity with courage and poise so yeah let me get some poise in my life um <laughs> so the next book that i got was an absolute must like i'm so excited to read this i'm obsessed with michelle obama barack obama the whole Obama family, they're just, I just, just black excellence makes me so happy. So my mom got me A Promised Land, which is Barack's newest book. So I cannot wait to read this. I read Becoming by Michelle and it was just chef's kiss. It was so good. So I know this is going to be just as good. And yeah, so this is going to be a nice 2021 read. I haven't started any of these books. I've been so busy with work that I haven't even touched anyone. But actually, no, I read, um, that's a lie, I read the first two pages of this and it was nice and interesting. So uh, thank you so much, mom and Santa. I really appreciate it. So the next gift that I got from my mom for Christmas was from good old Hermes. So um, basically for Thanksgiving, I got my mom a, um, an Hermes perfume and it smelled so good. And ever since I got it for her, like, I feel bad because I always use it like I always just take it and I'll like I don't know it just smells so yummy and I'm actually really picky when it comes to like smells and stuff so my mom got really annoyed that I keep taking hers so for Christmas she got me my own but she didn't get me the exact one that I got her she pretty much just got me um like on the website you can build like sets and stuff so she ended up getting me like a buildable set like it's like three um mini ones in the set so so it looks like here already opened it hence why the ribbon's like not tied the way it actually comes and then inside of it is just Oops. this way Oops. so inside you have um two samples that were given and then you have also the three that my mom had picked out for me so and they come this little like cute um sleeve and then you just open it and then here's the perfume mmm this one smells so good yum 
so as thoughtful as this gift is and <laughs> was it's just my mom's way of just getting me to stop touching her stuff so but thank you i'm thinking about <laughs> i'm just thinking about all the things that like i have to show and i'm just getting a little overwhelmed because i'm looking around my room and it's a lot like to me like yeah just a lot of stuff Oh, the next thing that I got were from my little cousins. Um, thank you guys so much. I really like this. They got me a porcelain aroma diffuser. I've actually wanted a diffuser for such a long time. I just have not found, like, had the time to find one. And um, this one has, it comes the little, it's a, what? It comes the little essential, that was so hard to say, essential oil in it. It's, I haven't opened this, so I'm trying to like, I've just unwrapped it, but I haven't actually put it together. Oh. Okay, so it comes with this Rise Up Therapeutic, um, what is it? Essential oil. It just has um, like the pieces. And then moving along to so the next items that I got are um, these jewelry pieces. Um, oops, almost fell. So the first one is this, this little teeny tiny, um, this little, um, 14, is it 14 or 18? I don't know. Let me see. Um, the next one I got was this 14 karat gold necklace. It's like super fine and tiny and I like, that's what I like and wanted. Um, I've been talking about getting a new like gold neck, gold chain because I had one that I was so special to me and I let a friend borrow it which I shouldn't have and like then she never returned it and then when I asked her about it all the time she's like oh look, I don't have it I lost it but yeah I still see her wearing it and like her photos on Instagram and she just won't give it back and anyways so my mom picked me up um this one right here and then she also got me a like a locket you can see a locket yeah a locket to go along with it it's just the letter a i hope it focuses properly so yeah and this is also um in 14 karat gold don't know why it's not focusing as well as i like but yeah so she got me both of those which i'm so happy about because i really wanted those pieces so thank you so much so the next items that i got for christmas were these black boots um they're from an instagram based store called public desire but i feel like they're the perfect dupes for the gia couture forense boots that are like an italian shoe designer made moving along um my mom got me these converses um they're leather converses which i absolutely love Besides for Air Forces, Converse's are probably one of my favorite shoes as well. Um, and the fact that they're leather, just I feel like leather ones look so nice and so crisp. There's just something about a leather Converse that I absolutely love. I feel like because they're leather, the details just pop more and they're just like so nice and versatile and they go with any and every outfit, which I'm not gonna lie, also from the front, just it low key gives like a Rick Owen vibes, low key. I don't know let me know what you think but yeah so i was really happy about that so again thanks mom um moving along the next items that i got from my mom so moving along the next items that i got for christmas are these michael kors heels i absolutely love michael kors for their heels they have great outerwear and shoes and they're super affordable i find so the first shoe that i got were these um Oh my god so first thing first i remember in university i used to laugh i like kitten heels i hated kitten heels and then ever since i started going through um spinal recovery kitten heels are all that i can wear all that i like to wear like all that i'm comfortable wearing so they look like this i'll try to find i don't even know how to even show these properly wow um they look like this and it's like super nice and sleek and it just goes with everything for like the summer, especially the color. It's so nice for the summertime. So I'm really excited about this. I told her I also wanted the black ones. And I got them. So ah. 
these are the black hair. They are so, so pretty. I'll definitely get a lot of use out of wearing these. Okay, why do I have this in it still? <laughs> They're so, so pretty. And I'll get a lot of use out of wearing them. And like black goes with everything and anything. And these are actually really comfortable. So the heel is not hot at all. Them little kitten heels, perfect for church, <laughs> perfect for going out, just perfect for my current lifestyle. And yeah, I'm actually really excited about this and they're stunning and I really like them. So one thing about me is I absolutely hate having to rebuy something. Like for example, if I buy something, use it and it breaks, like I just hate having to get it again. Or like if I lose it, like I just, ugh, I just hate it so much. So anyways, um, a few years ago I went to Vegas for my birthday and literally my friends and I were taking pictures on our phones and with my Polaroid camera. So we stopped, we stopped taking pictures of my Polaroid to take pictures of my phone. We literally put my like my Polaroid camera right behind us on this like huge boulder. If you've been to the Hard Rock Hotel, like the pool area, like how it's like, I might explain it, but yeah. And then all of a sudden, this huge gust of wind came, literally pushed us and um, pushed my camera over and it just like broke. But the thing was, it still looked fine. Like it looked really intact. The only thing was that like the lens was popped up so I pushed it back in it was okay but then once I tried taking pictures it wasn't working at all and honestly it makes no sense to get like to get it repaired because it costs more to get it repaired than just buying a new camera but I always wanted a new Polaroid camera but I just did not buy one because I didn't want the same thing happening again I was like no if I got it broken the first time like I'm probably not gonna have the best of luck the second time so for Christmas my mom knew how much I always talk about getting a new Polaroid camera but I never do it so she ended up getting me this cutest little one here um it's the Fuji the Fuji film Intax Mini 11 the one that I had before previously was um blue and this one's like a little like blush pink it's so pretty I actually haven't like since unwrapping it I haven't opened it at all or inside or anything um she told me how when she saw it like um in walmart she was thinking of getting the blue one but she remembered how i said i only got the blue one because it was the last one in stock and i actually didn't like the light blue color at all here. it's so funny because i actually don't like pink at all although i have so much pink in general but i just think this one is so cute it's like so baby doll and yeah so that's that Voila. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is why I can't have nice things. Like, y'all see that? My goodness. Not today, Satan. Not today. Okay, so. Okay, wow. Okay, we're almost done. We've got, if I'm calculating correctly, we've got two more items left. Oh, hey, nice. Okay, wow, I kind of saved my favorite items. Well, not my favorite items for last. I don't have a favorite, but I saved... Oh, oh, actually, no. We have three items left. Okay. I almost forgot about one of the biggest ones. Um, well, not biggest ones, but yeah. So the next item that I got still was um, probably the one that I kind of like wanted the most. It's getting me a Nintendo Switch, and I'm so, so happy about it because I actually really wanted this too. I wanted to get a PS5 and Nintendo Switch, so... My mom got me this one, and because I know of the struggle that she went through to get it, it just makes me love it so much more and appreciate it. Um, like, she did not have to, like, give me this. I'm grown, and I could have bought this for myself, but, but <laughs> I'm so grateful that um, my mom did that. And, yeah, I just ordered a few games, so I'm just waiting for them to be delivered. Um... And it's what it looks like. It's so cute and just so girly. So yeah, I'm really excited about this and thank you again. Um, the next thing that I got is actually something I bought for myself and this, funny enough that I was gonna film um, this video like what, on New Year's Day and or like a few days after. Um, this item didn't come until um, January 6th. So the day before yesterday. I don't know what, I'm not sure what day today is, but all I know is that this item came, yeah, the day before yesterday. Um, so it is a little 
thing from St. Laurent. I wanted to just treat myself to something good and I thought, why not? I've worked so hard this year, I deserve it. Um, so I just got myself something, a little, a little cute something something and it has a little this and it has a little dust bag that comes in. It's honestly nothing grand, so don't be like shocked when you see it and you're like, that's all you got because yeah, that's all I got. Um, so I got myself this little Saint Laurent card holder, this little YSL card holder. I honestly love the one that I have. I wish I had it show. Um, the one that I currently have is from Coach. It's like a pink one. I absolutely love it. I worked at Coach for three years and I've had that wallet for seven years and it's a like it's a card holder and it's just like the best like it has so much storage it keeps everything but i was like you know what it's a new year um let's manifest some new money and like creating generational wealth for ourselves and leveling up, leveling up our lives so let me just get a new wallet to manifest all the money i'm gonna make this year pray to the lord jesus so i got myself a card holder to justify that and it's so pretty i think it's so cute and simple and sleek um it just has i feel like it's so weird when people try to like describe a card holder like it, you put your cards in it and it has four compartments i really don't know what else to say but when i watch whoa i'm just dropping everything did y'all see that it was like whoop. but um the only thing i don't like though is so technically i want to get the smooth leather but the only thing i realized is that if i got the um just like grained um casket and leather it's so much better because it won't scratch as easily and that's i don't like getting like luxury things that i have to babysit and like oh i have to like protect this bag or protect the wall like i like things that i can just get and like the leather is strong and durable and i can just like throw it in my bag throw it in my backpack like just almost just be aggressive with it and like not have to worry about it scratching or getting damaged um yeah, so that's that, and that's why I got this new little one over here. So another one of my children, I call my purses, bags, my children. So this another child that I got for myself, and she's cute. Moving along to the, oh, I have this. Okay, I never opened this, I, I totally forgot. So I had, um, I got another present from Santa, but it was like hidden in um something, so I didn't see it. Gonna open this up. I think it's so awkward when people open presents on camera. Like, what? I don't know. There's actually like no nice way to like open a gift. I'm trying to like unwrap it. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. I like this a lot. So my mom got me, well, Santa got me, um, this Vulgari um, Omnia Pink Sapphire perfume. I actually have this in green, but I got it like years ago, like when I was like probably like the seventh grade. Went to um, we're in Belgium, and um, we stopped at the store there, and I and I got this. But I've always um like I always use the green one a lot, and I was talking about how I wanted to try the pink one one day. So I don't didn't realize my mom actually remembered that conversation, so she ended up getting me the pink one, and it's so. For someone who doesn't like pink, it's a lot of pink. Anyways, but it's so cute though. And I mean, I haven't even smelt it. So how am I supposed to know if it's... I'm one of those people who I can want something just off of packaging, like how it looks. Like I'm like, oh, it's so cute. It's like, have you smelt it? Like, have you tried it? No. Um, so let me smell it and let y'all know actually how it is. It's a, okay, it's like a little mini one. Okay, so the one that I have, the green one, is completely different. It's like in a like a circle shape, and it has like a top piece, and like I don't know, it's like a shape. Like I'll try to find a picture of the one that I have and show you what it looks like compared to this. Okay, so the next item that I got got delivered um yesterday. So in retrospect, having everything come late makes sense that this video is late because. The items would not, would not have been here for me to film this number so let me explain to y'all how this went this little story time about this item so I ordered um this jacques mousse bag it was so freaking cute i was obsessed like the color was khaki i don't have anything that's khaki i was just like 
like a green, like purse wise, like a green purse. Super stunning, so excited about it. Um, I ordered this item on November 22nd from Essence. It came three days later. So basically when it got here, um, usually with Sense, what they do is they have like the authenticity card in the purse, right? Like inside the bag or like just like on the side, like weirdly. Someone um, attached it to the bag this time and they kind of like peeled the back sticker of off from it like the not the authenticity card but like almost like their own verification card that they made because it has their name on their like company name with Jacques Mousse and like a little like barcode someone ended up sticking that onto the purse which is not supposed to be like stuck on and I guess like the particles like the glue and the oil from the back sticker got onto the actual bag itself and then like left like a line and I know it looks so small but and I like but at the same time I couldn't justify keeping a bag when I paid for it and like it's their own like default so I should just like because I know one of my friends is like oh just, like Vanessa just like suck it up and I was like suck it up like girl I paid my coins for this my hard-earned money I paid and like no that's like not a thing but then my other friend was like like just try wiping it off like she was like she understood what I meant like she had a similar situation with a sense as well um so I tried wiping it <laughs> sorry my throat is so dry I tried wiping it and then it didn't like make it better basically I'm just happy that I opened the purse that day because usually I'll be like oh hey I buy something online I know I'm not planning to wear it anytime soon but I know what it is so I'll just keep it in the box until I'm ready to like use it I have the tendency of doing that all the time but this time I was so anxious to see I was so excited to see what the purse looked like the, the actual size like how small it would be or how big it would be um and I ended up what do you call it like just open it that day and I'm so glad I did that because doing so um showed me the stain right so right away I messaged sense I was like hey like this is the situation and then they were kind they were like you know send us a picture send us a video like email it to us and then from there we'll like pot you like an exchange and we'll also um like give you like a 10% off discount towards another item or like another purchase I was like okay great everything is going smoothly so I literally that day I put the package like wrap it all back up I go to the post office mail it to them so I guess that was November 22nd yeah so actually I ended up mailing it back to them on the 23rd so basically from the 23rd to like um once December hit like December 1st hit I was like okay oh, hey, like they haven't gotten back to me have they received the item are they sending me an item because they're saying how it's gonna be an exchange so I'm like, maybe they're waiting to receive my item before they'll mail me back a new purse. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Basically, they ended up not doing exchange and doing a refund, which I wish they had told me that in the beginning because I'm thinking this purse is coming, right? But also, let's take into consideration that I don't know what took, keep in mind it is COVID. So I know like mailing is like such a pain right now. I'm totally aware of that. But because it was an, ex, um, an express um, package that I sent, I thought it'd be like somewhat faster. Basically, they didn't like process my my, my refund or like receive the item until December um, 15th was when it got to their warehouse. And then it takes them like extra days to process it and like put it back in your account and do all these things. So basically, I was gonna um, order another bag. So I was like, hey, should I just order another bag? Why do I want to order another one and then have them get confused and be like, oh, another order's place and think that that refund that they're doing is like done with. I don't know, like my like my thinking on it, I was just like too nervous. So, um, so basically I didn't get processed until December, the refund got back to me on December 26th. And I was like, what the heck? And every day I was checking the purse to make sure that it was still in stock because I could have just ordered another one the next day, but I wanted to make sure that like the refund got to them. And like I said, like not complicate things and them saying like, oh, well she's refunding it, but then also ordering another one. And like, I don't know, cause I've had issues with them um, with another, um, with Saks Fifth, with, like a similar situation of me ordering something, them sending me the wrong item. And then I ordered what I exactly wanted and then they like never settled the situation. Um, yeah, so anyways, I was like, how can it take like a month for this to get resolved? Like what? Because November 23rd to December 27th or 28th is a month. Like what? That was wild. So basically when I went back on the site, the purse was obviously sold out. 
Here's what annoyed me the most though. That purse was in stock every single day. But the day I was ready to order it, it was sold out. And I was like, this is probably just the Lord saying I don't need the bag. But then I still wanted it so badly. So I, I like, I don't know, in this whole ordeal, I totally forgot that I can actually order purses from the actual Jacques Mousse site. Because I've never done it before, so I didn't even think about it. So I did a way on the actual site on, um, I don't know what's going on, like my angle. I don't like a lot of things right now. I'm getting a little picky. Um, I ended up ordering the actual bag from Jacques Mousse on the 29th of December. Yeah. So on the 29th, but then the thing was, I saw like they had more colors in that style and I realized, you know what? The green one, the khaki was not for me. So I ended up getting it in a different color. Um, and this color is like more so a color that I would love and wear. I ordered it on December 29th and then I ended up getting it, um, what? Yesterday or the day before yesterday? Yeah, so here it is. And inside this box is just these little cute stickers and then the little, a little thank you card. So thank you card, sword orbs. Simple, says Jacques Mousse on it and says merci because they are a French based company. And at first I totally, I have the tendency of ordering things and forgetting about them. So I ordered this and then when the package came and it said France on the box, I thought it was my uncle, my mom's brother who lives in France. I was like, oh, like he mailed me something like cool. I was so excited and then realized it was actually what I had ordered. So in this little dust bag right here, is my newest child, ah, the Jacques Mousse Coquito purse in um, beige. Although it looks more gray brown than beige, but she's so cute. I'm obsessed, like, yeah. And she has this little, like, she opens up. She's very small, very small. It has this little space. She's complete. She's so small to so the point that when I received her, my mom laughed. Like my mom, oh my goodness. If y'all could see my mom, the way she laughed in my face. She was like, you know how big you are? And then this big, this bag is so tiny. Yeah, my mom was not. Like she was like, no, no, no. But I think she's so cute though, isn't she? And I just really like the texture. Like it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like super soft and smooth. And she's got croc skin, a little crocodile baby. And yeah, she's cute. So catch me in my living room and on Zoom with my new baby, my new child. I was gonna say catch me outside, but outside is closed, so I'm not going outside. And again, by me posting this video, I'm not trying to brag or show off for anything that I received. I'm more than grateful and blessed for all. And thank you so much. That's a wrap on this video. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. And let me know what's your favorite item that I received. Also, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you are making the best of this new year. I hope all of your dreams and aspirations come true. Many blessings to you and your family, and I wish you guys health and longevity and prosperity in the new year. So stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you.